Matt Fry reporting there. Well, Ben Maller, who is a spokesman for the United Nations in New York, uh, is joining us now. Ben Maller, many thanks for being with us. We'll talk about the aid effort in just a, a few moments. But uh, let's first of all uh, have a word about the Haitian's UN mission chief and, and, and his death. Yes, as UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon described, these wonderful senior colleagues gave their life for peace. Uh, for Hedy Anabi, uh, for Luis Carlos da Costa, and also for the police chief Doug uh, Coates. Uh, what, what I can say is this when you talk about Anabi and da Costa, we use the expression people who have had long and distinguished careers in a certain field. And this is the expression you can use to describe them. They were eternal optimists. Uh, I worked with Da Costa in the UN mission in Liberia. We organized a farewell in Monrovia for him before he left for Haiti. He was a suave, smooth operator who cared about people. Uh, Anabi was a quiet, diligent, professional. And their lives touched many people. Da Costa served in Kosovo, served in Liberia was connected and committed to peacekeeping. Anabi served in Cambodia, in the, in the Far East. And so th these are great people who touch many lives, and we, we mourn them. We are really, really sad. And what sort of impact will their death have on, on what is taking place in Haiti, as far as the rest of the UN workers are concerned? Yes, though we in the United Nations mourn our fallen, we know that there is a bigger catastrophe a bigger tragedy concerning the people of Haiti, who were the people, Anabi and Da Costa, and of course, all our other missing colleagues and everybody else went to Haiti to help in the first place. Uh, so we tried, and there is no vacuum here. As I speak to you, UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon is preparing uh, as best as possible to fly to Haiti tomorrow to offer hope, to do the best that can be done to speed up the relief effort. He's also already appointed, don't forget, Mr. Edmond Moulet and also Mr. Bambri uh, to be there to help make sure that there is no gap in the leadership. These are very experienced people. Coordination is a, a big issue here. All the UN top echelons are connected and trying to help as much as possible. But coordination remains key to the efforts on the ground in Haiti. What about that coordination? Because Hillary Clinton has been there today, as, as we know. Uh, the U.S. has taken over the running of the airport there to try and make sure that the aid gets through. How do you feel about that as far as the, the U.N. role is concerned? I think, as the Secretary General mentioned, the assistance from the U.S. and all other countries, all other agencies and donors is absolutely welcome. The key thing is whatever assistance comes, to the people, the survivors of the earthquake, that must be coordinated to avoid duplication, to avoid wastage, to avoid time wasting. And experience shows, even I was in Pakistan right after the earthquake, lessons have been learned over there, lessons from the tsunami. Everybody coordinates with the UN's Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs. That way, you don't send all your doctors to point A. Doctors from several countries ended up in the same place. And also, we can clear priority can be given to who needs what best so that the people who have survived this earthquake in Haiti can get the help as best as possible. It's not perfect, but a lot has been done on the ground to make sure this works and people who survived can benefit. So you want the, the UN to, to maintain that position as, uh, as coordinator, but uh, what, what do you feel then about uh, the US position at the moment? I think the US assistance is welcomed and everything is being done to make sure everybody, no matter which country sends uh, relief support or saving uh, rescue teams and uh, supplies, that everything is coordinated in an amicable way, working, of course, uh, with the Haitian government. We shouldn't forget that. And, of course, the UN uh, peacekeeping mission in Haiti, MINUSTA, actually has been on the ground for many, many years now and has experience at least in, in certain things and can bring that on, on, on board to help. So it's every hand on deck. Uh, everybody joining in, uh, making sure that the right support is given in the right time as fast as possible for the benefit of the people. All hands on deck, and we can make it work. The people of Haiti deserve and need hope right now, and coordination is going to be key to make sure we reach the affected people as quickly as possible. Ben Mallow from the UN in New York, thanks for your time.
Thank you.